Hi there, Yogi Virendra Yogi with a powerful learning lessons for gentlemen and women to really avoid being foolish. And before I tell you that you should not behave like a fool, then you should know what are the symbols and symptoms of a foolish person. If he talks aimlessly and incoherently, if he is engaged in impure conversations, if he utters falsehood, if he speaks ill of absent and carries about evil reports concerning others, if he frames flattering words, if he utters violent and abusive words, if his speech is irrelevant and his words are directed against the great and good, if he speaks in praise of himself. Beloved friends, these are the traits of fools because his mind is thoroughly saturated with foolish ideas. So please avoid being fooled by following these fundamentals. Now, what I wish. We should strive every moment of our life to be wise men and wise man is controlling his mind and directing towards noble thoughts, pure thoughts and he has mastery over his thinking. And so you can see that a wise man behaves in the following way. If he talks with purpose and intelligence, if his conversation is just if he utters words of sincerity and truth, if he speaks well of and in defense of the absent, if he speaks words of virtuous reproof, if his speech is gentle and kindly, if he talks reverently of the great and the good, if he speaks in praise of others, beloved friends, these are the traits of wise people. So now both things I have presented before you. So it is up to us what we want to be. But I want to be wise. At all cost, I have to adhere to the wisdom and follow it by practice, practice and practice. And I let you know there is one way that you can become wise people. And that way is meditation. Or you can say auto-suggestion. Auto-suggestion is suggestions given to ourselves with ourselves. So all these traits which I have mentioned and spoken before you, memorize it and meditate upon it very strongly and intensely. These ideas will really become your daily day, day to day or habits and then you can really define your destiny. And if you are really a wise person, people will love you because it is very a scarce commodity. One of my friend Colonel Bhaskar already said, once he visited a museum and there he saw a very tiny one human being was kept there. And people ask him why it is kept there. Then he said, wise people are rare species. That's why they are having place in the museum, beloved friends. So I don't want that. The wise people like you should be just in the museums. I want majority of the masses to be wise. Because the wise people are only the asset and essence of beautiful life in the whole universe. And if people become wise, then there will be no hatred, no jealousy, no cynicism, no terrorism. No discrimination on basis of caste, creed, race and religion. That the world of my dream and imagination. Where there is no ignorance, where there is knowledge, where there is wisdom. Where there is love, affection, appreciation for every human being. Okay? Let's work together to make the earth plenty a better place to live. Thank you very much for watching the video.